Alright people, welcome back to week 2 of the YCL versus Magma Pulse and the Chaos High Dragons. So, we are, let me show you guys what we're up against real quick. So, our opponent's team, they were able to get uh, powerful Latios as well as Zapdos, very powerful Pokemon right off the bat. As well as Heracross, Tentacruel, got a couple spinners here, they got Weather, uh, Grand Bull, they did manage to get a Fairy type, one of the few Fairy types. Quagsire, Victory Bell, Kecklin, and Rampardo. So, we've already faced a Azumarill, and I know that Sad has Mawile, right? So, dwindling down on the fairy types, but looking at their team, let me tell you what. I'm about to come through, hopefully, with the combination of Tyranitar, Scizor, and Gardevoir. So, I finally wanted to use Scizor since the only things that can really deal with it we got Zapdos, um, Tentacruel I guess deals with it um, well Fortress deals with it, Ninetales they actually have a decent amount of things but we can take care of Rampardos, Kecleon, Victory Bell um, Gramble easily and uh, Latios so uh, main thing is for Scizor to switch in on Lottie or something like that it has uh, max HP nearly max attack adamant I've got quick attack on there just so that I can get an attack off on something like Zapdos if we get low enough and we're plus two. Oh, and uh, nine tails as well is the big thing. So next up we have Spadef Titar, uh, which is our rocker this game because I really want to use Titar, and they have a nine tails. So I don't want any weather shenanigans with nine tails and Victory Bell. So. We have the counter to that, which is sand, of course. So, and uh, we are slower always than their nine tails. So, our weather will stay up over theirs. Uh, that is, if we both switch in at the same time, anyways. So, we've got flamethrower here, which should be a uh, guarantee guarantee KO on Fortress. Um, that's why I'm running sassy. And um, we've got Crunch Stone Edge. And they got Scarf Gardevoir once again. This time we're running Energy Ball for Quagsire. And it also gets a hit off on, um, what's it called? On Rampardos. And of course, got Moonblast for their darn Lottie. Can easily switch on Lottie. Psychic like hits Tentacruel and Victory Bell. Um, let me see, what's this thing's base speed? 70, so Victory Bell is definitely going to be faster than Gardevoir in the sun anyways. But that's why we got T-Tar right here, chilling. We got Nice Hat, uh, Vile Plume. This time we're running Strength Sap, uh, as we should have last time. I think that would have come through a lot better for me. I could have stayed healthier and uh, potentially done better. But we can easily switch in on something like a Grand Bull or even a Victory Bell. Or, uh, well, Keklon could probably have some stuff for us. But, um, switch on Zapdos's discharges, but not Hurricanes or just get Hurricane, I don't know. Uh, switching on Heracross is close combat, but not its Mega Horn. So we are running max HP, max defense. Um, with the Effect Spore once again. So, yeah. Got Choice Banded, uh, Entei yet again same set basically um, I don't know why I could have just used the one from last week but um, I went ahead and just nicknamed it Flareon because uh, you know the what's it called the lore about the Pokemon being stuck in there and they're a water electric fire just like Flareon uh, Vaporeon and uh, Jolteon anyways so yeah max attack choice band just to finish a KO off on Lottie with extreme speed, 
Heracross if they're probably Choice Scarf. Uh, hits Fortress. We could potentially hit Nine Tails. Um, Victory Bell, Extreme Speed. Just having that priority is really going to be helpful potentially versus Sun. And finally, Misty is our Rapid Spinner because they do have a Fortress and a Tentacruel, which could be setting up spikes and toxic spikes. So I don't really want that. We do have a Vile Plume for toxic spikes, thankfully. Um, Starmie, however, gonna need him to keep coming in. And a Life Orb is gonna be whittling us down, but I'm hoping maybe the battle won't last too long. I really like having that extra damage. Uh, so we got Ice, our standard Ice Beam Thunderbolt combo, um, which can hit Lottie and Zapdos. I don't have Psychic for Heracross, but we'll just have to go without. We do have a Guard War for that though. Even though, dang, they are 85 base speeds, so they are gonna outspeed us. But either way though, um, we've got Tentacruel. We can at least uh, do some damage to it with Thunderbolt. Nine Tails, if the weather's gone, we can take care of it. Um, and yeah, so that's the team. Uh, I've, I've got a much better feeling about this week than last week, gonna be honest here. Hoping that we're able to do better. And uh, yeah, let's make some plays out there. Because I only have a week to prep the teams, I need to gin the teams, so I'd like to thank Joey Fontaine for helping me get them on. Happy to pay the bills, Otto. All right, people, we are here with the battle, and they brought pretty much what I was expecting. Yep, Heracross, Quagsire, Kecleon, and uh, the Grand Bull, and the Zapdos and the Lottie. So, uh, but no, no, uh, they didn't bring uh, weather, because I do have a T-Tar, which is expected. So, who should we lead off with here? Should we lead off with the Fallen Titan? That could lead Heracross, though. Um, I might just lead off with this. And then we'll go from there, I think. Alright, looks good to me. So I took a picture. Let me just write stuff down. So. Get off with Gramble. Got my inner focus. Block that Intimidate. I'm still just going to hit him with a Sacred Fire. Even if they go out into Quagsire, we could put, there's a 50% chance to burn as they stay in. Take a bunch of damage, get in it, uh, and we get the burn. Excellent. It still does a heck of a lot. It's all right. Though. Oh, that was a crit. So they're probably going to go Quagsire here. Should I double out into this? Then again, I can t potentially burn it. Let's try to make a play. Oh, that did they really not switch out? I guess they were gonna sack it off, huh? Either way, though, I don't risk missing. Cleon, Zapdos, Sludge Bomb is free here, Grand Bull is about to be out, and Lottie. Alright, Grand Bull, KO by Vile Plume. Got you another kill, bud. Vile Plume coming through as per usual. Okay, so what, what, what would I do if I were them? Probably go Zapdos or Lottie. In which case, I'm probably going to bring Titar in. If they go Heracross, I'd probably Strength Stop them into Moonblast. And if they're Guts Flame Orb, then we just, that's an easy KO for Gardevoir. They've got to be Moxie Scarf. 
They do go Lottie. Um, I'm just gonna go T-Tar honestly to get up my rocks for that darn Zapdos. I am max HP, max Spadef. Or am I? What am I again? Yeah, max HP, max Spadef, and we have sand up now. Let me eat this up real quick. Yummy! Yum, 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 yum! Yummy Draco for dinner for T-Tar, man. Does absolutely nothing to me. Did they even have something for... I guess Zapdos can get Defug, right? We'll get some nice rocks up. The Fallen Titan Tyranitar himself. So rocks are excellent for chip. As well as sand too. So we just need to get rid of the Zapdos and the Quagsire. And then maybe Scizor can come through. Yeah, they gotta get out of here. Hey, no, that's gotta be Heracross, right? Oh, I actually go into this. Well, thankfully my Gardevoir is Trace, so I'm going to see exactly what type of thing this is. And see if we can get a Water Absorb maybe, if they go for a Scald. What I should have done last time, if I have it switched in this on the Flash Fire Typhlosion. Yep, Water Absorb. Okay, do go for EQ. Does a heck of a lot, yikes. At least I know they're Water Absorb, I guess. Let's see if we can hit them with an energy ball. If they see this coming or not. They do. I guess I, they saw that coming from a mile away, huh? Thundercloud. I actually guess I could have gone for Moonblast there, huh? But I was too greedy, man. They saw right through that. Well, Ventures is getting really low, but... It doesn't matter too much. I have T-Tar for this specific reason. Let's find out if they're Scarf or not, or if they're Defog or not. It's their only way of removing hazards. I mean, they gotta be, right? They go for the Roost. That's the only unfortunate thing. I don't really have a switch into ground type attacks. So the sand's gone, unfortunately. I'm gonna just go for a crunch, see what happens. Yeah, because I figured they might uh, switch out. So they have U-turn on this. I'll write that down. U-turn, roost. Cool, so we get a nice crunch off. The rocks are still up, so Zapdos is gonna, well, they did roost up, but still. Send out nice hat. It's the only thing I can switch in, really. I really should have Moonblast Zapdos, man. Should I go for Giga Drain or Sludge Bomb? There, no, there's no way they're staying here, but then again, it's too obvious. All right, cool. Can we get a Sludge Bomb uh, Poison? Yeah, Zapdos was always the answer to this. They've got to have something for the for Vileplume on this, man. 
No poison. Ugh, need to break this vicious cycle. But what's their other move? They have U-turn Roost. They gotta have either a hurricane or something. We'll get up some more sand. Yep, there's the defog. Man, this Zapdos is freaking annoying, man. I'll get rocks back up. I need to break this cycle. Thank you for not roosting, friend, so much. So we'll get him low down to like 25. Screaming Drain Punch. Alright, I'm gonna go on to my max HP Scizor, and I think set up an SD. Because we know that the Quagsire isn't unaware, so it's gonna get up by a plus two U-turn if it wants to come in. Oh, but we, this thing could be special, dang. But if they brought this thing, I feel like it's physical. Yeah. This could be risky, but I gotta do this in order to quicken the game. Please don't have flamethrower. I might be choking. I'm, I should have just U turned out. Frick! I knew it! I knew it! They have flamethrower for this because it's draft. Oh man, I choked. I choked, guys. I'm sorry. I, I got too greedy, man. I knew they'd have it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I should have just U turned out and done the safe play. Dang it, man. This frickin' thing, man. Getting in my way. I'm choking once again. Gonna double out into this. That's my only play. Perfect. And the Zapdos can't afford to come in. Maybe the play is to Giga Drain here, honestly. Please stay in here. Dang it, I should have sludge bombed the Zapdos. But then they would have died. Or they would have come close to dying. They're really never going to risk this thing, huh? I really lost my Sizzler, man. But it's not like it could do much with the freaking Quagsire in the back anyways. How long has this battle been going on? 12 minutes, man. All these bulky mons! Good grief, man! And all the leftovers animations, good grief. 
I don't know what I can do here. There's crunch. They probably defog or something or U-turn out. I don't know. I need damage, but they're just going to recover, roost, whatever. There's no way that this is going to end. Yeah, okay, cool. They U-turn out. I should have just sludge bombed and hopefully gotten the poison. I thought they might potentially stay in there predicting with a sludge bomb again. Because if they went out in a Zapdos thing at poison, they could have died. As I lost my Mega Horn switching, unfortunately. We could potentially get a, uh, what's it called, a effect spore off. Or a miss, dang, that's unfortunate for you. I do have still have banded extreme speed though. This thing comes in. Ooh, gonna take a nice moon blast. But the dang Quagsire, man. I can't afford to lose Gardevoir either. Man, I really should I should really should just you turned out first that stupid Cacleon, man. As they're not even specs. Yeah, I, I felt that did too little to be specs, man. Jeez, everything is just roosting up, man. What can I do? They've got all these HP restores. I have to make a play at least. Maybe this loses me the game, but I feel like I died at Draco. Do I go for energy ball now? That's the question. Because if I get rid of this, I win. Or do I go for Moon Blast? I feel like I have to go for this every single time. Yes! We did it! We got rid of the Quagstar. I knew they would eventually stay in. And that time when they stayed in, I would get it. So... All my conditioning finally paid off. Oh my goodness, we have a chance. Conditioning people. Shadow Claw, Flamethrower. What else could this thing have? I don't need Nice Hat as much. I can get an Effect Spore off. Battle will end in three minutes. Dang, asleep. Alright, I'm sorry for the hacks, man, but... You see, this is what it could have happened to that Azumarill. I'm gonna go for Moonblast.
Come on, come on. How much is their flamethrower gonna do? Still asleep. Alright, Moonblast should kill from there, right? Alright, come on, Moonblast, get a kill. Lotus. Nice. Switch out into T Tar, get the sand up. Alright, I'm uh, about to go for Stone Edge here. Hopefully get a kill on Heracross or something. Though actually, no, they're going to go Cacleon, so I may as well get to go for the safe crunch. 60 seconds, yikes. Oh, they did go Heracross. range of e-speed though. Sack off nice hat. Thing is we still don't know there's so many things that could happen in the battle it's unfortunate it comes down to timer. Alright, well that sucks. I don't know what they want to do now, if they want to go on to Showdown or what. But, uh, that's the 20 minute timer for you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to see what we say about that battle. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I recorded whenever we did the battle. Alright, so, uh, I let in today let Heracross because, of course, if they can get a Heracross sweep, they win. But, um, that's why I led uh, Entei to scare him out. Uh, I need rocks up for that stupid Zapdos as they go Kecleon. They haven't even shown, all they've used is Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. They haven't real Drain Punch, but I know they have to have it. Um, guess I'll just go Nice Hat. Even though it's one of the few things that, um, let me see. How much do we need to kill the freaking Heracross? 55, so we need to do at least 45%. Cool. Yep, there's the drain punch. No effects for this time, that's unfortunate. That's the thing, is like we're replaying it, but it's like. Not the. Uh, I'm gonna go for Sludge Bomb to attempt to get a poison on something. Yep, they go Zapdos. This a nice chunk. I'm gonna go for another sludge bomb, that way I can, yeah, get the poison, excellent. And then go T-Tar now. So we finally get a poison on this freaking Zapto. Should have sludge bombed it earlier and could have potentially killed it before. So Quagsire is no longer a threat. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge, or should I go for Flame? I'm gonna go for Stone Edge. Yeah, we're doing 40% to it. Should I go for Flamethrower? Now I'm going to go for Stone Edge again. Come on, give me the Heracross. Something's taking a lot. Come on. Yes! Alright, that's a dead Heracross because it's dead to our extreme speed, thankfully. 
Um, I don't. I think nice hat has served its purpose, right? It got. We already got rid of Quagsire and everything. That's fine. Just strength sap in case they miss. Cool. Perfect. Like I said, this thing is dead. Anything else that wants to come in is going to take a heck of a lot. This is the, this is the scenario that I wanted, where it would be super low, and then we could just take it out. Dang it! Why do we get paralyzed? That's why I didn't want. I did get effect support before, but still. Bring out Fallen Titan. Alright, well, it's still super low. Should I get up my rocks? Um, do I not need as much? This is the question. Sock off Misty because Gardevoir can still switch into Draco's. Cool. I just go for Scald, honestly. They can go and take me out. Should be able to live one. Well, actually, I could Healing Wish up. That's the real smart strat. Healing Wish up and heal this thing up. But then I, I need it to... um. I should really get rid of this thing first. I should live one Shadow Sneak at least. Genius strat, now I'm not weak to it. Now I'm only fairy type. Should have went for the shadow sneak there, bud, while I was still weak to it. Cool, that thing's gone, and we can healing wish up, hopefully. Go fallen titan, get the sand up. Thank you so much for not getting paralyzed, oh my goodness. And that should be GG's, hopefully, the Scarf Moonblast. That could have been so close to being a loss. Whew, we got, we barely survived. We escaped with our lives on that one. All right, that's going to be GG's, folks. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next YCL. This, this league is stressful, man. Stressing me out, man. I got too much to stress about already. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.